Let's talk about your health. Is uh, of course a big concern going into the holidays. Yeah. The, the flu. flu. It doesn't matter where you are this morning. Everybody's buzzing about it all over the country. We've heard a lot about RSV cases rising this fall, but flu hospitalizations are now hitting a 10 year high. So we have NBC News <clears throat> medical contributor Dr. Natalie Azar here this morning. Good morning to you. Hi, good morning, guys. I was just looking at the numbers here. Uh, this is according to the Department of Health and Human Services, approximately 78 thousand people have been hospitalized with the flu and this was just since the start of october yeah. it's such a big number what's it, the deal it, it is a big number and I, so not only have hospitalizations actually doubled in the last week but the numbers that worry me a little bit more are the fact that deaths and cases right now are where they were at the end of last year's mm. flu season. And we're still only in the first week of December. Oh. And so, of course, you say, well, why is this happening? Well, you think about what we did for the last couple of years with masking and working mm -hmm. from home. We weren't exposing ourselves to these to these bugs, mm -hmm. and therefore we didn't really build up immunity. And then we relaxed all those measures, and now we have them circulating, very similar and analogous mm -hmm. to what we've seen with RSV. Mm -hmm. What's the time frame of flu season? How long does it go on? So typically, flu season starts in October and can go as late as April or oh. even even early May sometimes and we typically peak between December and February but we started early this year and we predicted this remember we talked you about right here well I didn't call you know, it, I mean, you, 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 know <laughs> you did remember she you said it. Yes. I did and I said you I said got my it. flu shot earlier this year and you know we we don't like to put too much weight yeah, into what happens did. in the southern hemisphere but that's what happened but mm -hmm. we haven't peaked yet we haven't really plateaued, so we're still kind of on this exponential rise. It is a cause for concern. Well, yeah. let, let's remind folks again the symptoms, because yes. I think is with COVID out there and RSV, it's, I think a lot of folks just also get confused. Right. Yeah. So if you think about all three, RSV, COVID, and flu are all respiratory viruses. So they can all share the same stuff in the upper respiratory tract, fever, cough, runny nose, headache, body aches, fatigue. But what I will say about flu that makes it different is that it just knocks you on your tush, mm -hmm. right? It's like you get so sick so quickly with a high fever, aches and chills. It just puts you in bed. Yeah. And a little pearl, and it's not 100%, but some pediatricians I work with were saying this, that with COVID and flu in kids, you tend to see a lot of GI symptoms. Mm -hmm. um, but with RSV, it's usually more up here, at okay. least in kiddos. Not an absolute, but, you know, something that it's might help you, know. you know, decipher, decipher when you're at home. Well, as many cases, as, as I talked about, of people going to the hospital, you realize then how many more people are just at home sick. Yeah. You know, they may not be in the hospital, but 100%. they're they're down. Exactly. So what if somebody's watching and they don't normally get the flu shot? Yes. Because there are a lot of people who just don't yeah. frankly want to. Yeah. Is it too late? Can you still go in now? Oh, never too late, mm -hmm. technically. Um, remember that it takes two weeks to get two that weeks. protection. So especially ahead of the December holidays, it's it's really important and it's not too late. Importantly, the strain that's really predominating right now is covered in this year's vaccine. Um, so that's good news. We won't know how effective it is until the end of the season. But nonetheless, we know and we hope that there will be reasonably good coverage. And remember, the flu shot doesn't necessarily protect you from getting infected. Right. Yes. But it does protect you from getting very, very sick or ending up in the hospital. And that's, of course, one of the main outcomes that we're hoping to avert. One yes. quick question, because mm -hmm. my son has to take, you know, a COVID test on Monday mornings before he goes into mm -hmm. school. Are there RSV or flu tests at home no. or no? Okay. No, the only at home test is the COVID shot. Mm -hmm. um, the RSV and the flu tests have to be done um, in the doctor's office. Okay. You know, we usually run at around 50% vaccination. It's lower this year for adults, mm -hmm. and it's particularly lower in pregnant women, 12% lower than it was last year. So, you know, pregnant, under the age of five, over the age of 65, those are the folks that we really urge, um, you know, and want them to get that flu shot. We have to take care of ourselves. Dr. Natalie is on. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.